Ooh, look at it. Looks just like a sand whiting. Just glides side to side. Yep. Oh, yep. Big flatty. Big flatty. Yep. Big old flatty. 180 mil whiting imitation glide bait. Smoked it. G'day, g'day all. Just before we get um, into the action of today's video, I just wanted to do a little, what do, you, what do you want to call it? A little, a better understanding of how this video is going to work. So this is actually the second day of me being out here at the spot. I'm not going to spoil today or yesterday, but I just wanted to give a quick little rundown because the start of yesterday, probably, I'll put a little timestamp like as I'm talking right now, but that will be where the glide baiting starts happening. So I actually started fishing with a soft plastic and a little hard body to start with, um, just for a couple of minutes, and did have a little bit of fish inquiries. So if you want to watch the, obviously the full video from the start to the finish, you'll see that. But if you want to skip to the time that's on the screen right now, that's when the glide baiting with this whiting, MMD whiting glide will start happening. So. Just wanted to give a quick little rundown because I didn't really make an intro and just for it to make more sense for you all when you click on the video how it's going to work so yeah not going to spoil anything hope you enjoy and happy viewing this will be my third location for the day been trying to fish some flats with top waters and glide baits but the wind's not bad here which is nice yeah but down further it's just completely blown out all up in your face so we're just going to do some i don't know weed edge drop off flats fishing for some flat it it's been a little while but hoping to try and get back into them i don't know if the water's been cold or well i mean of course the water's been cold josh that's a bit of a dumb thing to say but a lot of the fish have been off lately i've just been catching brim that's it i tried to go a couple flatted sessions and oh big mullet jump yeah it's been really dry yeah i haven't even got a look at so Back down here, trying to crack some flat fellas. So I'm going to be chucking around that big twitcher that I was using in a couple videos ago. 6.5 inch in the white. 30 pound braid, 20 pound leader. I mean, it's a bit overkill, but that's because this is for meant, meant for using swim baits. And in case you get a tip wrap when you're doing a cast, your braid won't snap. That's the main reason for going that heavy. Send her on out there. It's my favourite little bay. Every, every, ever since I put it in a video, I've had a lot of kids come here and fish it. And for some reason, they just never have as much luck as what I do when I come here. So, I don't know why. a flatty on the twitch it oh wow he's going skits oh wow oh my it's not a huge fish what are you doing eating that mate we'll take it how good it scared the crap out of me it's probably like a 50 on a six and a half inch plastic Pinned right on the top of the lip where you want it. Flat session underway. There's fish number one for the little flat session. Probably just on 50, maybe 51, 52. Flatty. Look at the lower easy. Look at the size of that. This goes to show these fish are not afraid to eat those bigger baits. I'll take that. 10 minutes in, it's getting back. Actually, I'll give it a quick measure and then get it back. What's that? 
Well, in the process of that fight, we lost the second eye. This fish is eyeless. Two hits using this lure in the past two sessions, and both eyes are gone. That's not very good. I don't know if it'll affect it, our catch rate or not, but it's kind of hard to tell if I find out because you just never know if there's a fish there or not. Let's keep working around. These are the prime sort of areas you want to look for targeting flatties though. Just a nice little quiet bay, slightly out of the current, although this area doesn't have a super amount of current. Um, we've got a nice weed line that runs all along the edge. And as you can see, this ground is real rubbly. Real rubbly, sandy, rocky ground. Holds bait fish, and when there's bait fish, there's predatory fish such as flathead. Oh yeah, oh. oh, oh, oh. Holy shit. I just cast there before as well. Didn't get a hook in it, might come back. Oh my goodness, man. What the hell, that was like an 80. Oh. Why did it not eat the placky? Holy shit. That was a donkey on the first cast. I don't look at a hook in it. No chance. Talking about perfect ground. My arms are shaking now. And it didn't want to come back for this. I don't know if it, like it come up and ate it and I seen its head shake. Like just one big head shake and it was just a massive fish. I don't know if it just straight up took off or it's still sitting there. Very frustrated either way. Let's give this big widen glide, 180 mil ago. That fish ain't coming back, I don't think. So, I'll keep persisting. So I'll chuck on this bigger bait. Hopefully get a slower sink rate than that plastic. Please, Flatty, please. I beg of you. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, flatty on. On the glide bait. <laughs> You're kidding. You wait, you see the size of this fish. Oh. It's like the same one we caught. It's smaller than the one I got on the 6.5 inch plastic. First glide bait flatty. Oh, he's only on by one treble. Oh. Oh, there he goes. Look at this lure. Look at that fish. Take a look at that. These flatties will bite off more than they can chew. It's literally half the size of the fish. I should get a close up, but I'll just put him back. That's hilarious. Scoot in, mate. There he goes. First one ever on glide bait for me. And that's the size of the fish that it was. I thought we hooked that big one from before till I felt the weight and it was like, oh, that doesn't feel like a giant. 
But hey, I'll take it. There's people, there's people sitting home right now thinking, how on earth did you just catch a flatty on that? But, ooh, look at it. Looks just like a sand whiting. And these fish will eat fish a lot bigger than them. A lot, a lot bigger. It perfectly imitates a sick fish though. Just kind of wiggling that rod tip. Or I don't even have to wiggle it, but I'm just doing it for a better gliding action. And it just looks like a real sick fish slowly getting onto its last breath. No, it's pretty hard to do like this. That gives you an idea though. Just glide side to side. That was fish on. Yep. There's a flatty. <laughs> that definitely was the first one that hit me. Uh, the one that hit me the first time. Whoa. Little junior burger. See, this lure, you would think, would be more suited to fish of this size. And that lure would be suited to more of the fish that had hit before. They're weird critters. It's just about the action of that lure, and if it appeals to them, big or small, they'll probably go for it. See you, mate. There we go. <laughs> Textbook flatty position to sit in right there, on the edge of the weed, on the flats, right on the edge of a little drain, coming straight out to a drop off. Oh, one treble. I knew you were gonna do that. That's a slightly better model. Probably about 50. Gonna have to do a bit of a toss here. I'm not gonna release it in this green stuff. Straight off. Really wanna tick off a proper one on that glide bait. I'm wondering if I keep flicking along here or I'm considering jumping straight across to the other side and giving that a go. I might give it like five more minutes here and then we'll move. Oh yeah, big flatty, big flatty, on the glide, oh back him off, there we go, oh, that's what we're after, oh no, one treble, one treble, one treble, one hook point, keep your head down man. That's a mid 50 up. Now I just got to gracefully get it over the weed without it coming off. Easier said than done. He's still not a giant. <laughs> Man, these fish must be hungry today. Definitely a lot better. Hopefully that camera's positioned well enough, but. Man oh man, I'm so happy with that. 180 mil whiting imitation glide bait. Smoked it. I'll get this fish on the measure map, but it's probably just over 60. Maybe 61, 62. But yeah, gotta be happy with that. Right on the edge of these little drainage points. Same thing on the other side, how I got that little one on the hard body. These flatter just sit on the edge of them and wait for the bait fish to come out and yeah, really good ambush point, and there's the result. 
So stoked with that. Not as big as these guys come, but mate, when you're cracking them on a glide bait, that is so, such a good sign that the water's warming up and these fish are willing to more move more onto the flats and feed on bigger bait. So yeah, very stoked. I was wrong. 57. For the release, just gonna slip it in the creek. Straight to the depths. There's no damage on that line. Obviously the lure is gonna be in one piece. Bit of grazing there actually. And the flathead chompers. So yeah, pretty cool little thing, hey? Just a sand whiting. Very realistic. Even down to the eye, like the details in that eye. Got to be one along this weed edge, but I'll chuck out wide. I know it's a bit silly, but I've pulled some proper ones to fish over 65 out wide before. So I don't know if there's like a little drop off there or what's the go with that. Oh, tiny flatty just come up and doink the back treble. That was lightning speed as well. It's pretty cool to see. <laughs> that fish was like 35 centimetres. Crazy things. They're on. I'll tell you that, they are fully turned on. I don't know what's got them fired like this. Yeah, there we go. You aren't, you aren't gonna believe the size of this fish. It's not even on accident, like he's eaten that. Double treble in the mouth. Another high 40s. I say another, probably the first high 40s of the day. On this lure in particular. But yeah, they're not shy. They are not shy at all. Beauty, <laughs> just smoked it. That's what they do with these glide baits. I've seen from other videos and, well, I'm noticing just now, they don't tap it. They're not like how you, they, how you hit a soft plastic. Sometimes you get that flatty tap on a soft plastic where yeah, it's simply literally just a little tap, but on glide bait, man, they want it. Well, you think about it, it's a big whiting. They're not going to try and give it a little tippy tap to knock it out or anything. They're just going to smoke it. Last hook. See you, bro. Oh, tiniest, like when I mean tiniest, like the most tiniest bit of frayed. Probably should change that, but I'm not going to. It's that small, it shouldn't matter, hopefully. Fingers crossed. on a lure with the trebles that gnarly. You're kidding, I knew there would be one there. These are some big hooks, man. And somehow still dropped it. Oh, that one was better, I think. Just by the weight. Oh, he's not coming back though. Had it on for too long. Man, oh man. Work this area really, really well. Gonna move to one last spot and probably finish off the day there. Hopefully it's more out of the wind as well. Oh, I can't believe I cooked that fish. I think that was actually a real good one. I should go over and see how big the lay was that it left, but... That's two today. Two proper ones, definitely over the 70. The first one, definitely over 80. I didn't really have that one on long enough to tell how big but it was definitely a decent fish I'll tell you that this thing tastes like shit. it's been sitting in the 
sun. Look at the bottom of it. <laughs> First bite and I dropped it. Well, it didn't drop, it didn't get a hook in it. I was actually just thinking in my head how, how I should hook set the next fish in that one bit. Flatty just ate some bait on the edge of the weed. Ready? I know there's a flatty in that gap. It might be too small to eat that. But... Oh, nut! Nah, grabbed it. <laughs> right on that same edge. I don't know if that camera picked it up. That flat had come out of the water before hitting some bait fish. Still not very big. Seemed hungry. Yep. Big old flatty. <laughs> oh, he's not a big one. They smoked it on the twitchy twitches. I thought, oh, there'll be nothing following it, so I'll just start fast retrieving it just to get it back into shore. And yeah, this probably 50 model smacked it. Oh, one treble. Look how wrapped up in my line this fish is. <laughs> There's my leader knot. Probably a rod length and a little bit. All wrapped around it. Just do a quick one of these. He is that's the front fifty two fifty three. Pretty epic session to be honest i'm a little bit upset of those two fish that i dropped man they were proper ones i reckon no exaggeration both would have been guaranteed over 75 but i reckon one of them was definitely over the 80 and 80 centimeter mark in there so pretty upset but still managed to land a number of fish on that 180 mil whiting glide bait who would have thought the fish of that size would have been eating a lure of that size just goes to show like i said they do bite off more than they can chew. And um, yeah, cheers all for watching. I would say um, comment down below if you want to see more of this style of fishing. But it's coming into summer, and this is probably all you're going to see. Big flathead and bass fishing. They're going to be probably the number the number one and two um, videos that will be on my channel. So stay tuned, get keen for that. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.